Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So this will be the part 20 of my video series on family GPS tracker app using Android Studio. Alright guys, so in this video what we are gonna do is we are going to uh, upload the user image to the Firebase database and then we will up, uh, we, we will update the image url in the users database table all right so let's get started so in our previous video we just finished our uh, getting the location of the user okay current location and now i missed that part where we need to upload the user image to firebase database so for that let me first of all show you the uh, gps or uh, firebase database here we have two users for authentication okay and when i click on database here we will have a users node and two users okay uh, first one and this second one all right and we now need to first of all let me show you uh, here is image url okay so now we need to uh, upload the uh, i mean update the link of the user image here so first of all we will upload the user images in our storage folder all right here so some, now there are no files here okay so let's go to our database part okay let me first check if i have the dependency of firebase storage firebase data okay so now we need firebase storage dependency so just first of all copy that and paste it here and just change it to storage all right now click on synchronize now okay guys so now we are ready to start our code so first of all here we, we will we have the image uri okay we, uh, uh, let me show you the image uri in our invite code activity okay so here we will have this uh, image uri so we will upload the image uri through the firebase storage class okay so now first of all let's say here storage reference storage reference okay so now first of all we need to initialize that and here we can say storage reference equals to firebase storage dot get instant dot get reference dot child okay so first of all we uh, we, we will create a folder and with the name of images okay or we can say user images all right and now uh, okay so now here what we are doing is for we are first of all creating the email and password okay for uh, authentication let me show you okay for authentication purpose okay and after that we are saving the values in our database okay this is reference dot child user id okay and here you go now if the if the values are successfully updated in the uh, real time database so now here we need to save the image to firebase storage all right so first let me first remove that and now here we can say okay let me first remove the code so here we can say
storage reference r equals to storage reference or child and here we can say user dot get user id dot okay so plus and we can say dot jpg all right so now what will happen is we have the storage uh, okay so now we can uh, what we can say we just simply can say sr dot put file okay and here we need to pass our uri so we can say result uri what was image uri i mean yes image uri all right so now the image uri will be uh, put in the firebase storage and here we can have an add on complete the listener new on complete listener okay so here we can check if the task is successful all we need to do is okay so first of all we need to dismiss progress dialog dot dismiss and we can say user registered successfully okay sorry so now here we need to also we need to update the user uh, image url to the firebase database all right i told you in my uh, starting of the video we need to upload the url here okay so for that what we can do here is uh, we need to download the path okay or we need to get the path so for that we can say string download image path okay how can we get the path we can say task dot get result dot get download url dot to string all right so we have, uh, from there we can get the file path and if we have if you know we have the reference okay so we can say reference dot child and here we can say user dot get user id dot child and what is the name here uh, image url okay image url dot set value and in here we can say download image path all right and also we can have an add on complete listener here we can say if task is, is successful all we need to do is we now can simply say that user registered successfully and here first of all we need to remove uh, dismiss the progress dialog and in our else part we can also need to say or dismiss and we can print an error occurred while creating account right and if the user is successfully registered all we need to do is we need to pass open our another activity so for our activity user location main activity okay so in white code activity dot this user location main activity dot class start activity and in here we can pass my intent all right guys so now that was the code so let's try to run our app all right guys so in my next video i will uh, complete the app and i will try to run the app okay and i will show you so if you like the video please like it and subscribe goodbye